Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you the best tips and tools to encourage you to make beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I am here with four high-end Dollar Tree spring home decor DIYs, so let's get crafting. For our first DIY, we're going to be using some of these wood flowers from Dollar Tree, as well as some wood letters, a frame from a wrapped canvas, and some five gallon paint sticks. So to make the background of this frame, I'm taking five packages of the larger five gallon paint sticks, and I'm cutting them all down to 12 inches. That is the shorter length of my frame that came out of a tall wrapped canvas. So here I'm just lining up my 15 12 inch pieces next to each other just to make sure they're going to line up nicely. Then in order to paint these quickly and less mess, I'm going to put some strips of masking tape on the back of them, flip them over, it just holds them all together nicely. And I'm gonna give this a good coat of my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. We will paint that thoroughly and let it dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna take a baby wipe and my Waverly Antique Wax, and I'm gonna go all the way around this wood frame, like I said, was in a tall wrapped canvas. I did remove the piece from the center. Then once my paint sticks are dry, I'm just taking my little sander and distressing those a little bit just to give it a little bit more texture. Now I'm taking three flowers from each from two different packages. They're slightly different shaped and I'm going to paint three of them. I'm gonna paint the leaves and the stem using Waverly's Fern. And then the other three, I'm gonna paint the leaves and stem using Waverly's Moss. Now while those are drying, I'm gonna come back to our frame and our paint sticks, and I'm gonna use some wood glue to paint these across the frame to give a backing. I could have cut them just a little bit shorter as some of them did stick up, but that's okay. I'm using wood glue instead of hot glue, so I have a little bit of time to slide them around if they're not um, exactly spaced out once I get towards the end. This method worked really well and I was happy with how it looked. I did have some little gaps between some of the sticks, but I actually liked how that looked in the end. Now I am going to trace the petal part of our flowers onto these two different patterns of scrapbook paper, and I'm gonna need a total of three flowers for each of the two papers. So I'm just gonna trace them and cut those out. Next, I'm taking some wood letters to spell the word spring. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, at Dollar Tree, lots of different places. And I'm gonna paint half of the letters using this bright yellow to match that scrapbook paper. And then the other three, I'm going to paint with a dark navy blue. Next, we'll take a light layer of Mod Podge on the top part of each of our flowers, and then we're going to press down our scrapbook paper that we traced and cut out. Once that scrapbook paper is dry, now we're going to take some hot glue and we're gonna glue down those letters that we painted on the tops of our flowers. Then we will hot glue our flowers to our background. Notice I have them at different heights and you'll see how we're going to cover up that space in just a minute. Thank you. 
So now using our hot glue under one flower at a time, we're gonna put hot glue and then attach down some of this floral moss from Dollar Tree. The flowers that are higher up from the bottom will just make the moss kind of go up like it's hills and different levels of ground. I wanted to add two of these little wood beads from Hobby Lobby, so I painted them black and white. And then on the back of the board where they're going to be, I'm just painting a spot of yellow paint so that when I glue the bee down, it makes the inside of the bee also yellow. Then once that yellow paint is dry, I'm just gonna use a couple dots of wood glue to glue each of our bees right down onto the back of our sign. And the last touch will be to take a black Sharpie marker and draw little dotted lines as the bees are flying around the back of our flower sign. And here's how it turned out. I love how this came together and I was able to use some items from Dollar Tree as well as things that I had on hand. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time today, welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. If you are one of my many returning viewers or subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I hope everyone will tap that bell. Make sure your notifications are set to all. Some people have been saying that they have not been getting notifications, so just double check that. For DIY number two, we're gonna make a really simple hanging sign using one of these wood pallets from Dollar Tree, as well as a napkin and a couple of stencils from Magnolia. So I liked this pink cloud by Waverly. It kind of matched some of the colors in the napkin I chose. So I'm just gonna give this palette on all the sides, front and back, edges, everywhere, a coat of this Waverly chalk paint, again, in the color called Pink Cloud. Once your paint is dry, you can then go ahead and do a pretty good layer of matte finish Mod Podge on the front facing side of your wood palette. Then let that dry completely. Next, we're going to trim our napkin and cut out just the image that we want to use. I'm gonna use these flowers at the bottom. I'm actually not even going to use the bunnies on this one, but the great thing about napkins is most of the time you get at least two copies of the image so you can save those for another time. Once you have your image cut out, you're gonna to want to peel away just the front layer of the napkin. You're gonna want all those other layers, if there's another one or two layers, peeled away. Then once we have our image centered where we want it, I'm gonna lay down a sheet of parchment paper, and then with a warm iron, we're going to decoupage this napkin onto our palette that the Mod Podge has dried, and heat activating it will reactivate the stickiness of the Mod Podge, and then it will grab onto the napkin. Then once our Mod Podge and our ironing has uh, cooled off a little bit, I'm gonna take my little sander and go around the edges. We're also gonna go in those little spaces of the palette to clean that up and get this nice and cleaned on the edges. I did have to take my scissors and kind of punch that hole between those layers and then just gently went at it with my sander until I got it nice and finished looking. 
Once we have that all cleaned up, we'll take that matte finish Mod Podge again and just do one more layer over the front of our palette where our napkin is just to make sure everything stays on. I decided I wanted this little sign to say Hello Spring, but I'm combining two different stencils from our Spring 2023 mini stencils. I'm using the word Spring here, and then I'm gonna use a cursive Hello from a different mini stencil, and I'm using the color Old Glory Blue. It kind of brought out the blue that was in some of the flowers. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of raffia and make a bow that we're gonna hot glue up here into the top left corner. We'll trim those tails that are hanging down. And then last step, I'm taking some jute twine and some of those uh, beads that are at Dollar Tree right now, the green and yellow and the natural colored ones. And I'm just gonna string some on this twine here to make a beaded hanger that we will then tie around that first top section of the back of our palette and then this project will be done. I love that you can make this with whatever colors um, and whatever napkin design you want. You can make these for literally any season or holiday, Christmas, fall, spring, you name it. For a complete list of all of the tools and supplies I've used in today's projects, click the down arrow next to the title of this video. That will open up the description box where you will see a list of supplies for each project, as well as links to my Magnolia Design Co. website and my Amazon storefront. For DIY number three, we're gonna make this raised palette flower house using a house shape from Target or Dollar Tree, some big wood beads, another little palette, and some pieces of five gallon paint stick. So this house is not one from Dollar Tree, although I have been seeing them again in Dollar Tree. This one I believe was from Target Dollar Spot. It's more of that shiny MDF. So instead of using antique wax, I'm using truffle chalk paint. And then once that dries, I am going to sand it and distress it just a little bit to try and help it blend in with the antique wax that we are going to use on the palette and also on the little feet that we're going to put on this project. So again, just dipping my baby wipe into the antique wax, we're just rubbing all this on and then we will let it dry completely. And here are those little wood feet that I mentioned. I'm not sure what these are called exactly, but you can find them at Hobby Lobby in the little wood piece section. I just thought they'd be cute to do little feet. Then I did cut six two inch sections of some leftovers, five gallon paint sticks. We're going to add these to the roof of our little house. But first we're going to Mod Podge it just to make sure that chalk paint does not scratch off from the kind of shiny texture of this house. Then I'm gonna take my Mod Podge again and I had cut a piece of shiplap looking scrapbook paper that we're going to add to the back of this house. So once we have our layer of Mod Podge, I'm just gonna place that in and press that down and let that dry completely. Now here we're going to hot glue those little pieces of the paint stick onto the house roof. And I just like the way this adds in the wood that we're gonna have on the bottom with the palette. So just three of these fit really nicely with just a little bit hanging off the end to give it that nice roof look. Now 
Next, we'll use our hot glue again and just putting some on two of the pieces of the palette. We're going to press our house down onto the back there of the palette and make sure that is nice and secure. And then we'll also glue on our little feet. Now inside, I'm going to glue six of these large wood beads. I'm going to make four, and I'm gonna have the outside ones one bead high, and the two in the middle are gonna be two beads high. You'll see here in a second what I mean. I'm just spacing them out. And then with the holes on top, we will be able to put little floral stems in here, and it's gonna be super, super cute. So now that our house is all put together and the little wood bead vases are in, we can cut little stems and put those right inside the holes. You may have to cut them shorter than you think to get them to fit inside the house, but I love this and you can change out what florals are in here based on the season. You can even add other cute little knick-knacky things on the rest of the palette that kind of sticks out like a porch in front of the house. I love how cute and simple this is and can be used multiple times throughout the year based on whatever season it is. If you're on Facebook, I hope you will follow my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page. I go live there multiple times during the week doing different projects than what I'm showing here on YouTube. For our fourth and final project for this video, we're gonna make a double-sided spring truck using two of these 3D wood truck signs from Dollar Tree as well as two small crates. Now this first part really does take the longest, but if you take your time with this, your finished product is going to look the best. So to make this two-sided and have the three-dimensional elements on the other side of one of your trucks, you're gonna want to apply some heat and gently try to get off these pieces as best you can. You might leave some behind, but just try to remove that. Remember, this will be on the inside of the truck with the finished product. So for the two raised parts on the front and back of the truck, I am going to trace some more of this spring scrapbook paper. We're going to end up mod podging it onto the front and back bumper areas, or I guess these are wheel wells. I don't know what they are, but these two raised areas of our trucks. So I'm using this blue floral paper on one of the trucks, and then you'll see we're gonna paint the other truck a different color. You could definitely do both sides of your truck the exact same if you wanted to. I kinda liked being able to have the variety. So there's our two pieces for the one truck, and then we're gonna cut the blue. Now I'm going to use wood glue to glue those pieces onto the other side of the truck now. So we'll have one truck that's facing the right and one truck that is facing the left. So when we put them together around the crates, it'll be a 3D standing truck. Now there's that one piece, I had to kind of put it backwards, but it doesn't bother me. I think it's gonna look just fine. So there's our three pieces. We'll also glue on our wheels in just a second. Take the extra minute and fill in the little hole at the top of the truck where the hanger was, you'll be so glad that you did because then you won't see a hole <laughs> when you paint this. Don't forget to glue on your wood circles that go on the tires. Now for one of our trucks, I'm going to use Waverly's chalk paint in the color Dusk. And then on the other truck, we're going to give the entire thing a coat 
of Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Maze. And because this piece will be standing, I am going to also paint the back side of each of my trucks just so it looks nice and finished. Now for our two crates, notice mine are not even exactly the same, but that is okay. They'll be inside our truck. I'm gonna give these a good coat of Waverly Chalk Paint in white. Now that our trucks are painted and dry, I'm gonna put matte finish Mod Podge on those two areas where we're going to decoupage the really cute spring floral scrapbook paper. And we're just going to press those down and let those dry completely. I decided I wanted to add some of these flat sticks from Walmart just to give some more color and add some more dimension to the back of each of our trucks. So I just cut them to fit the rails that I've already painted and I really liked how this turned out. Then I took my Mod Podge again and I'm going over the scrap of paper we Mod Podged on and over the rest of the truck as well. Next, I decided to use two more of our little spring mini stencils from Magnolia, and I'm just gonna stencil an image on the door of each side of my truck. Fresh flowers sold here, and bless my blooms. I'm using three of our colors of chalk paste, and this makes it really simple to add little decorations to your DIYs. Next, we're gonna glue our crates to the inside of our trucks. This one is going to be upside down and I'm lining it up right under the window there and the side edge of the window as well. Then this one is gonna be face up. It's gonna be a little bit higher and it's gonna be right where the top of the bed of the truck is and it'll butt up against that upside down crate as well. This is going to give some body and support to our two trucks. Plus it makes a cute little area where you could put some flowers, some eggs, some greenery, some candies, whatever you'd like to put in there. And here it is, I love how this turned out. And I don't think I showed it on camera, but I did take a black Sharpie and just colored in the hubcaps of your truck. You could paint the tires instead if you want and leave the hubcap the color of the truck. Thanks again so much for joining me today. As always, please let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite, and we'll see you next time. Take care.